You've ever had Pro Tools quit unexpectedly on you or your computer freeze or anything like that and you've lost some work that you've done? This video is going to be for you. I'm going to try and make it so you never lose any of your work again. All right, imagine this. Here's the scenario. You've been working away on a mix. You've done all this custom automation and then suddenly Pro Tools quits unexpectedly or maybe the power goes out or your computer freezes. It could be really anything. It doesn't matter what really matters is did you lose all of that work that you just did before you remembered to click save? I think anybody that uses Pro Tools, probably any DAW, but especially Pro Tools, has run into this at some point. It's a bummer, especially when it is work that was hard to do. Like automation, you know, it's tricky to get those little moves just how you want them. Or maybe you just had like the perfect take and now it seems to be gone when you reopen the session. Good news is that maybe it isn't gone and stay tuned because I'll show you where you can go looking to see if that stuff actually still exists. But first things first, the most important thing we need to do is actually enable something called session file auto backups. I think this is actually already automatically turned on inside of your session preference but it's definitely something you're going to want to check anytime you install a new version of Pro Tools. And honestly, it's just a good practice to make sure that it's turned on in general. It's super simple. You're just going to go to your top menu, click on Pro Tools and click Settings. Just a note, this used to say Preferences on older version of Pro Tools. And now go over to Operation. And then down here, there is an Auto Backup window. And you're going to want to make sure that this Enable Session File Auto Backup is selected. After that, there's two more parameters we can control to make sure that we're not going to lose our stuff. First up is keep, and that is how many of these backups it's going to save. Now, don't worry too much about this being a high number because it's not actually saving duplicates of all the audio files. It's just saving the PTX file, which is the Pro Tools session file. And that is just the thing that tells Pro Tools what file goes where. So it's actually a small data file. It's not big at all. So I personally max this out. Let's go 999. That is the maximum, by the way. And then back up every however you'd like minutes. Now, most people would recommend, myself included, that you actually run this as short as possible, meaning one minute for every backup. And that means that every 60 seconds, it is going to do a new save of your session without you clicking save. And that is pretty awesome. It's pretty hard to lose something if your session is being backed up every 60 seconds. So that is what I recommend. However, with my current version of Pro Tools, I'm finding that the Melodyne Ara integration is kind of getting funky with auto backups. So I've been experimenting and I've essentially been finding that running it at two minute backups has been resulting in a more stable Pro Tools for me in general. So it's kind of a calculated risk for me. But if you're not using Melodyne very often, I probably wouldn't worry about this. From there, you just gotta remember to click OK and it will then save that across all of your sessions. That is how Pro Tools should run from now on. But again, I do recommend checking that setting every once in a while, especially if you update your version of Pro Tools. But this doesn't really stop Pro Tools from crashing. You've just told it to save every 60 seconds. So what happens when Pro Tools crashes? Well, that is the real trick. You've just got to go find your session file and then look for a folder inside of that session folder called Session File Backups. Inside of that folder, you should see a bunch of files that look just like your normal Pro Tools session, except for they say .bak, which stands for backup. And these are your session backups that have been automatically saving for you in the background. Personally, the quickest way that I've found to get the file that I want, which is almost always the most recent one, is to click date modified and then scroll to the top and then just look at whatever was modified most recently. In this case, there was one done at 208. And if I look at my computer, it is 209 right now. So 60 seconds ago, it made a save of this song and I could just open that double click. It will then open it and we are off to the races. Unfortunately, there's one small caveat that I have to mention and that is these backups don't always work perfectly. And unfortunately, that happens when it crashes. <laughs> the way to watch this is to, whenever Pro Tools crashes, to take a look at the time on your computer and then when you go to the session file backups, note whatever the most recent save is. So for example, if your session crashes and you look at the time and it says it's 1.30 and then you go to your session file backup folder and the most recent backup was done at 1.20, you know that file auto saves weren't happening for 10 minutes. And that is rare, but it has happened to me. And unfortunately, you're just kind of screwed in those situations. So do your best. Still try and save manually as much as you can. Build in a muscle memory of Command S, I highly recommend. But this should save you 99% of the time. And as far as I can tell, there's no reason not to do it. And now that that file backup that we found has finally opened, we can see that it says .recovered in the file name. So you're going to have to actually rename that when you do a new save. That's just worth mentioning as well. 
I really hope that this video saves you a lot of time and frustration down the road. And if you appreciate it, please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to give a sub and comment down below. It helps this video get out there. And if you want a free mixing resource to help you get better mixes with the plugins you already own, so it's totally free, go check out the standout mixes link down below in the description. People have been loving it and I think you would too. Okay, adios. See you in the next video. Take care.